Hello, uh, this video uh, I just wanted to show uh, five things that I find annoying about Unity and I do this uh, video for my students. Uh, I'm working as a teacher in programming and these uh, arrows new beginners or new new users to Unity uh, it's very annoying for them to not know why stuff don't work and I'm going to show that these five things are very common uh, and and breaks unity and, and makes unity hard to work with so i just wanted to show what they are and how you can avoid them so that you can use unity in a better way so the first one is something called a uh, script name class name arrows so for this let me start a new project here in uh, yeah sure new unity project so in unity when you create a new script uh, it's important to uh, name that script directly when it's created and not change the name uh, after you have created it or you can change it but if you do change it and you don't remember that the name uh, doesn't update it can cause some pretty annoying errors and I will show that to you soon just let unity load <clears throat> this took longer than i wanted to okay so when you're in unity if you create a new script you get the option to name that script so if you do not name it, you just press enter after you've created the script, like this. The name of the script will be new behavior script. And you can see the code inside the script. Uh, here the name is public class new behavior script. And what happens is that uh, if you want now to change the name of the script, for example, you want it to be the jump script, and you change that name, this name does not get changed inside of the code and uh, this leads to some errors where you cannot now apply the script to any game object for example here main camera uh, you cannot apply that script because uh, the script class cannot be find, found the name on the script has to be the same as the name inside of the script so you now have to open that script in your uh, IDE uh, and and now you have to see that a new behavior script and jump has to be the same name. So you have to write like that and then you have to save the script and then you have to close it. Now the name of the script inside your assets folder and the name of the class inside of the script is the same. And now you can apply the script to your, to your uh, game object. So remember when you create a new script uh, name it directly for example attack script if you do it like this you name it directly the class name and the script name will be the same and you won't have this problem it's the old script here uh, so just just a little hint uh, almost every new student I have uh, has this error so that's why I show it to, to you okay so that is the first part. That's the script name, class name error. The next uh, error that many of my students get is, uh, I have to close this uh, Unity for now. It has to do, I'm a Swedish, uh, I'm a Swede, uh, I live in Sweden. And in our country, we have these letters, O, E, Ö. And if I create a new folder here on my desktop, and I, I give this the name of uh, Unity Project O, E, or, or for example, even Unity E Project, like that. And I uh, open Unity Hub. And now wish to create a new project here. Uh, and I choose this folder. Um, so, desktop Unity A project folder here, and select that folder. And now I create a new Unity project inside of this folder. 
um, these the scripts that I now create inside of my new project won't open Visual Studio when I double click them inside of uh, Unity because of this air. And this air can be anywhere. It can be on the folder top level or it can be inside of this folder. If I use OER, uh, it has a tendency to break the scripts and Visual Studio connection, kind of. Uh, and I will show you it's this now. So I create a new script here and I give this the name of jump script and uh, now I wish to open the script so I double click it nothing happens unity cannot open the script because of uh, because of this air eh. if I create a new script a new project unity project 2 and I open unity again <coughs> and I create a a, a, a new project here and uh, like that and unity project 2 select that folder and create um, I do not have this problem and I don't know if this is just uh, in our Swedish European language or if, if like these letters uh, what is called Unicode UTF I, I don't know but but um, it breaks the connection kind of and it's annoying uh, I think unity should fix this and they should fix that class name thing too because many new u users experience this and, and it might throw them off not wanting to continue using unity so now this new project here n it has no OER, so I create a new script here uh, which can be attack and I double click this script and uh, uh, Unity opens this script in Visual Studio without any problem. So big difference here if you if you I close Unity now. Uh, so if you have a, a letter which is not English, uh, Unity cannot open uh, the files in Visual Studio or the scripts in Visual Studio automatically. Uh, very very annoying. So watch out for that. Uh, that is the OER. -E. I, I want to bring back this the script name arrow which I showed you at first. I think it's a huge deal because if you're a new user in Unity and you cannot even open your first script, you start to doubt yourself like, uh, I, I can't do this, I'm shit at programming. And you stop right there, like when you even create your first script. So it's like a small thing, yeah, but if you're a new user, it's a quite a big thing I believe so just wanted to point that out uh, this next thing is forgetting to install unity add-on in Visual Studio installer so if you have a unity project I will create uh, a new one so let me remove these here so remove that from the list uh, remove that from the list and uh, create a new project um I can create it on my desktop unity project I already have that unity project 3 create okay so uh, if you have not installed unity add-on or it's not called unity add-on but it's called something like that in the visual studio what do I mean by this so you have something called the visual studio installer and inside visual studio installer you have these things I'm going to show you. Uh, if I press modify here, these are uh, extensions or, or libraries for Unity to develop a different kind of, uh, for Visual Studio to develop different kind of applications. And if you want uh, Unity, to work with Visual Studio, you have to have this installed, Game Development with Unity. If this is not installed, uh, Unity won't open Visual Studio as well. So please bear in mind, in Visual Studio, Visual Studio Installer, Modify, you have to install Game Development. And it's as easy to just check it and then modify, download, install here. So that is uh, forgetting to install Unity add-on in Visual Studio Installer. 
in visuals in unity i believe 2021.17 i saw something in the notes that maybe they have fixed this i don't know it's like it's not unity's problem maybe but but this can be for new users as well something that keep in mind next thing is unity preferences external tools external script editor not pointing to the correct path needed regenerate sometimes so so sometimes if you create a new script uh, test we can uh, if if you here in edit preferences you have something called external tools external script editors and sometimes this doesn't have checked uh, your your visual studio you just have open file extension right yeah and if it's like this uh, sometimes unity yeah, now it works but sometimes unity uh, cannot open the script in visual studio uh, so edit preferences you have to check here this the version of visual studio that you have installed on your system um, and sometimes even after doing this it doesn't mean that uh, 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 unity will open the script in visual studio so you have to like regenerate these project files or, uh, or something like that it worked for me now but this has caused issue uh, for me and students before so something to keep in mind as well that edit preferences external tool external script editor point to the tool that you want to open your code with so that was uh, that was the third here so, and this is the fourth one this was a really annoying thing for me uh, this is probably not the right description of the error or, or the bug it's called window administrator privileges for unity to be able to write some meta files so i created a new windows user for my system and uh by doing that that user did not have administrator privileges and i installed unity on that user in fact it's this user and what i mean with users are here i have different users so this is my now in corona times <laughs> uh, i i have to have my workstation for for like my 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 school work or my, my teacher work and i also have this workstation for for my personal uh, space with my games and stuff and i don't want them to inflict each other so i create, created a new windows user and this new windows user did not have administrative privileges and that meant that when i created projects in unity uh, um i couldn't open those projects or i couldn't the code didn't work because uh when i when i uh debugged or when i when i compiled my scripts uh unity uh couldn't overwrite uh, its own system files because it didn't have administrative in administrative privileges so uh i solved this by uh windows account administrative something like that uh local ad i believe this was it how to make an user account i just googled this and uh, yeah see i had to go into here uh settings accounts and then I think I've made uh, handle my accounts. I know that my uh, it's Swedish right now. No, it, this was not it. I'm sorry. Um, and now we can see here it's administrative, but I had to change this to maybe here. Oh, this is getting a little bit annoying now. Let, let me follow the guide. Um, standard users so if, if you follow this guide I, I, I won't delay this video this is like if you have problem with with your account not being administrator this can cause issues in unity and here's like the first article i found that can solve it i i i, I found another article that made me able to switch this account here this is my personal account and this here is my other account so it's very
So, I, uh, yeah, I, I switched the account there. Uh, maybe you didn't see you, because the recording of OBS cannot be translated to this other account. But anyhow, if your account in Windows doesn't have administrator privileges, some files cannot be written in your Unity in your Unity projects. And uh, if those files cannot be written in your Unity projects, Unity can, cannot uh, cannot compile the scripts, and the script won't work. So this is also something that uh, I I have been having problem. That's personal. I have been having problem with. Uh, Window administrative privileges for Unity is also important to be uh, to think about. Um, the last error is something called Unity layout. Layout error can't access projects stuck in loop. Needed update that delete files to regenerate and be able. So uh, this has happened to me and a lot of my students as well. And I, I don't really know how to repro reproduce this error. But what it is, is like sometimes you, you have this uh, layout inside of U Unity and you can find this layout under here, layout, 2 by 3, 4 split default and stuff like that. And sometimes this bugs and what happens is you're, you try to open your project in Unity uh, from Unity Hub. So you're in Unity Hub and you press uni new Unity project 3. And you get this error, you cannot open, because Unity layout. And I can see if I can Google it and see some other who has this issue, because I, I don't have this issue right now. Um, Unity layout error. Fail to load Unity window layout. Yes, it's, this is this. Is this. And it looks, like, it looks like this. And you can press revert to factory settings, and you can press load to default layout, but nothing will happen, because you will just get stuck in this window. And the only uh, one way to to fix this error is to just <laughs> delete your project and also delete your references inside Unity Hub here. Remove that from the list and create a new project, and it will work just fine. But uh, uh, another uh, way to fix this problem uh, with your project, so you don't want to delete and create a new project, is to do a CMD. No. Sure, uh, which is in English uh, run, and here you you write app data, and you come to the app data, and in local I believe it was, and then you go to Unity, and then you go to editor. No, you go to config. No, you go to cache packages. This is wrong. Local low. No roaming. Maybe roaming. Unity. Yes. So. App data, roaming, Unity, editor, 5x, preferences, layout, default. You delete these files, and uh, uh, now when you run Unity, Unity will recreate those files, and this might fix this error. So you can load Unity. Um, yes, if that makes sense. Sorry, I cannot show you that error. Just like. And those are the five annoying things for a new user in Unity, which to which you should look out for. Um, thank you very much, and goodbye.